Now we're starting to see the Dodge Charger replacement out testing around Michigan and it looks pretty good. Have a look at these tires here, how wide these are. And I do think it has a classic muscle car graphics and proportions with the very geometric horizontal lines going across this entire rear end. So what we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna do a classic old redesign because we do have photos, official sort of spy photos from Dodge that they released both from the front and the rear and there are a couple of things that I want to redesign in this uh, shape to make it more into a more I, I would say classic muscle car shape. So jumping into Photoshop here let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. First of all I think Dodge has done a fantastic job to keep the charger muscle car alive and now we know that it is going to have an internal combustion engine option for this even though I think three different uh, electric versions of it the top one having over 800 horsepower which is in true Dodge muscle car fashion even though it does have this weird noise to it but having a look at these new photos that we have from Dodge looking at the front end it has this very sloping front end if you compare it to the current Challenger for example and what I want to do here we do have still the very geometric feel in the front but you see how low this front end sits in the overall height of the front end and how this is curved downwards almost too much in my opinion so what I want to do is take this graphics right here move it up or make it a little higher so have more of a beefy graphics in the front extend the top limit for this graphics to be up here somewhere and then I have, of course have this corner now connect to this new corner and not have so much of a sloping hood going down but what I do like about this design is it's very cool the uh, the engineering and the aerodynamics in the front end because we do have this opening here which acts as a wing so you have air flowing in here and then flowing up on the hood creating an integrated wing sort of like we have in the 488p style lower section I don't really want to do anything here I think this is geometric enough to be sort of a muscle car vibe to this and then coming into the rear end and the weird thing here is it has this angle to it the entire rear end has this outward angle so you see how, how this end point here is not straight instead it angles upwards meaning that the top piece up here these graphics are sitting further out if you look at this from a side view than the bumper at least that's what it looks like from this angle so what I want to do is totally invert this so I want to have more of a line that goes like this at the end point and I also want to extend this graphics a little bit more more to widen the rear end and also have this angle be more upright. In addition to there are a couple more, cha more changes I want to do here. You see the greenhouse and how it slopes backwards very far. We have the A pillar here then this big thick C pillar in this area and what I want to do here is have more of a less of a sport back design and more of a proper trunk almost sedan like like similar to what we have in the current challenger meaning that we I need to move this entire piece move it this way so that the C pillar ends somewhere in this point and then have more of a clear trunk we're gonna switch out the wheels we're gonna add some diffusers and exhaust here because as I said we're gonna have an internal combustion engine so I want to have a quad exhaust something like that at the bottom and last but not least this shoulder line which I think looks too sporty for a muscle car it gets too wavy here almost Italian like which I don't it looks good don't get me wrong I think it looks great but it doesn't have that muscle car vibe so I want to create this into a single shoulder line that has more of a straight angle to it so with that said let's jump into the redesign here and let's see what we can do with these photos they are not the most high quality photos that we can get but we work with what we have so I want to show you my idea of a couple of tweaks to this design and also bring back some of that more muscle car iconic round headlights in the front end maybe with some sort of twist to it so reading this article from car and driver and car scoop so I'm gonna link these two down in the description if you want to go and check it out the rear of the of the car resembles the lift back Charger Daytona SRT concept it looks very much like the concept that's for sure although the taillights are much more conservative than the concept bar of stacked LEDs which is something that when I saw it felt like maybe this is a, a detail that they're gonna change when it goes into production because this looks a little bit too complex for production and then you have the charger replacement appears to be smaller than the previous generation ch challenger in the front uh, in the front end and I think that has to do with this very slim 
uh, graphics that we have in the front and that is one detail that I want to work on to make it a little bit more imposing in the front end and emphasize the front end graphics specifically the uh, the framing that houses the headlights and also as I said re uh, reintroduced the round headlights because I think that has more of a classic muscle car feel to it for now everything else about the final product remains a mystery however we do have some um, information about the powertrains here. So EV or ICE options, you're gonna get both. They're gonna use the inline six hurricane engine that we have in the Jeep Wagoneer and the Grand Wagoneer. And those put out in its current form is a three liter twin turbo inline six that delivers either 420 horsepower or 510 horsepower. Those are the numbers that you have for the uh, internal combustion options. And then you have the EV three options here the base one being an entry-level single motor rear wheel drive version producing 402 horsepower you have the mid-range dual motor all-wheel drive with 670 horsepower and you would think 670 horsepower could probably be the top of the line but Dodge didn't stop there you have the flagship trim with a monstrous 885 horsepower almost 900 horsepower from an undisclosed number of electric motors. It might even have three motors, who, who knows? And Dodge says that this will be available, uh, go on sale, it says later this year. And looking at these photos, it looks pretty close to a, uh, you know, ready to go into production. There's some minor, minor details with the fitment of the trunk, for example, and the cut lines. Now jumping back into the redesign here. And as you can see, what I wanted to do here, I wanted to extend the front end, still have the, I wanna have it be a instantly recognizable as a challenger slash, slash charger in this case. And that means reintroducing the round headlights. Now I wanted to make one of the daytime run lights a little smaller than the other to make, to give it this mental muscle car look that I think a Challenger slash Charger needs to have. And we also need to add the protection pieces, the yellow ones at the bottom of the of the spoiler because you know that is just one of these details that is going to probably implement it on the production car just like we have on the Challenger and a lot of owners decide to just keep them on there. That is the front end, not a lot of changes. I do like overall what's going on in the front. I just wish the, the, uh, the framing for the headlight uh, area would be a little bigger. I think the main changes happen in the rear and th that has to do with the proportions. I wanna have it be more boxy and reintroduce this muscle car vibe with the three box design. You have the front box being the the hood and then the greenhouse being the second box, the third box, I wanna have a clear trunk definition and not this rake or this angle in the rear, which you can see in this almost ready production model here. And since it is an internal combustion engine version for the new charger, I wanna add a diffuser and of course we need to have the quad tailpipe. So make the rear and boxer shoot forward the seat pillar just a little bit and work on the uh, shoulder line and also of course add some new wheels onto this. And here you can see the before and after and specifically the rear end. I think it looks so much better when we have more of a trunk defined in the rear and remove this angle that we talked about. Overall, I'm excited for this to go into production. And again, I think Dodge has done a fantastic job with this design. It's still, even without the redesigns, you can still recognize this clearly as a Dodge muscle car. And I'm glad to see this, that the muscle cars are still living on, not just with this one, but also with the new V8 Mustang.